Hi, in this exercise you can learn to start restricting one or more text fields in your forms to allow only characters that you desire to be typed into them. We will remove undesirable characters in real time as the user types. Now let's say you have a web page and on that web page you have a couple of form fields that you want to restrict. And in this case we're going to be gathering first name and last name of a user. So I want to restrict my form fields to intake only letters because nobody's first name should have a number in it, nobody's last name should have a number in it, and they shouldn't have spaces in their first and last name either, as well as any strange characters like dollar sign or question mark. So those things should all be stripped away as the user's typing. Okay, the first thing I'll do is I'm going to target the event I want. And I'm going to happen to just use the on key up event. Now you can use the on key down event, on key press event, you can use the blur event, or any event that you would like. And we'll make that equal to a JavaScript function that we'll write in just a moment. And we'll name it letters only. Open close parenthesis, and inside the parenthesis we're going to put the this keyword. And when you put the this keyword in a form field like that, or in an element, that's going to tell this letters only function that we're referring to this form field, this input. And it doesn't even really have to have an ID. So let's just copy that, and we're going to put that into the next form field that we also want to make sure has letters only. So now all you have to do is make sure that in your document you have the JavaScript function. So just as a quick example, I'm going to throw in a script tag here, and that's where I'll put my JavaScript function. But you can externalize this function and add it to some greater library that you're building for your website or whatever. Or you can just put it directly in the document within a script tag like I have. So we'll type in function, letters only. We'll open close parentheses, open in curly brace, and close in curly brace. Now we're going to access the this object which is going to represent each field that the user is typing into dynamically. So we can just call it input. So the variable name will be input. So when the user is typing into the first name field, input will refer to the first name field. When the user is typing into the last name field, this input variable will refer to the last name field. So that way you can use this function for more than one form field. Now the first thing we want to do inside of that function is establish a variable for the regular expression that we want to write. And since this tutorial is going to be dealing with regular expressions, I'm going to lead you to a page that will show you all the basics and the little nuts and bolts involved with regular expression programming in JavaScript. So I'll lead you to that document at the very end of this tutorial, which won't take very long. So we'll put in double forward slashes, and then we're going to type in G for global, and then I for non-case sensitive. Now, in between our forward slashes is where we put our regular expression logic. So since I want these form fields to only have letters typed into them, we can group A through Z, and make sure everything except, I'm going to use the caret symbol to say everything except A through Z will be stripped. And since we have an I here, that means even uppercase A through Z will be allowed. And it will be global. Our replace method that we're going to put on this next line will be a global replace. So now we just take the input variable and we say input.value is equal to input.value.replace method. We're going to use the string replace method in JavaScript. And the first parameter we're going to feed it is our regular expression. The next parameter is what we want to replace anything that gets stripped out with. And in this case, we want to replace it with nothing. We just want to strip those things out. So if you're not familiar with regular expression programming, don't worry, I'm going to send you to a document that will give you the basics if you need a little refresher. And so that's it. Your program is done. So now you can test this in your favorite browser. Now as I type in my first name, if I type in Adam, and then I try to put a space it won't let me put a space character in. And if I try to type in numbers, it won't let me put in numbers. It won't let me put in strange characters either. Only letters, uppercase and lowercase letters. So if I put an eight, it's gonna get stripped right out. If I put in characters, 
strange characters, they'll be stripped out. If I put in spaces, get stripped out. But I can put my last name. Now as an extra layer of restriction, what you can do is also make sure you strip out all strange characters and numbers in your server-side language, which might be PHP. So that means when all this data gets sent from the form to your PHP processing script, you might want to also restrict or replace all of the strange characters and numbers that might be in the values. Because sometimes sneaky people can bypass your forms and submit straight to your parsing scripts. So that would be just another extra layer to make sure that things are really restricted. Now I'm going to show you that document that I was talking about. If you go to developphp.com and you go to the JavaScript nuts and bolts, you'll see we have the regular expressions object. And here's where you can learn about writing regular expressions in JavaScript and all the little nuts and bolts that go along with it and what all of the syntax means that you see in regular expressions which means you can just change things up so if I wanted to only allow numbers I would put 0 through 9 here and I wouldn't need the I which deals with letter casing so now if I run this you'll see that it only allows me to put in numbers so if I try to type in Adam it's not gonna work but if I type in a number it works just fine so you see how that works you can change things up customize it to restrict it exactly the way you need it restricted by using regular expressions and the string replace method. Okay, so I hope this tutorial helps you start restricting your form fields so people can't play around and put goofy things in them.